Thank you for being a friend Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would see the biggest gift would be for me And the car attached would say Thank you for being a friend All right, guys, welcome back. It is Saturday, March 19th. We got the opening day of the second round of the tournament today. As you can see, we are still in the old location. Boys a little bit lazy yesterday, did not go pick up my car. So we're doing this again. Tomorrow we will be back in the normal spot, but <clears throat> we are gonna recap yesterday and give an updated uh, standings of the first round, after the first round where everybody's at. So let's get right into that right now. We'll recap the first round, uh, give you everyone's score after round one, and then get into the picks for today. So overall leader, cannot say I'm surprised. He won it last year. Chris, he, he's got 27 correct out of the first 32. Pretty impressive. Uh, next up, we got Sean at 25 correct. Very nice also. Vinny and Spencer are tied at 23. Wilkie and Steve are tied at 22. And your boy is at 20. Thursday was not great. Thursday, I got 8 of 16 right. Very disappointing. So, got a lot of work to do on my end. But I think we're going to get there. I, I feel good about this second round. I like the way that things sh have shaken out so far to a degree. You know, a lot of one-point losses for your boy too. Just throwing that one out there. Uh, Chattanooga had that game in hand yesterday. That was very disappointing. Um, UAB, ugh, UAB was a heartbreaker. We did have one unanimous selection yesterday that went down. Obviously, we had Kentucky and Iowa on Thursday. Yesterday, we were all on Virginia Tech. They lost to Texas. So, hopefully, no more of that today. But we'll see because the upsets are fun the upsets are fun even when you pick the wrong way the upsets are fun and the great thing about gambling is you can live bet and try to make some of your money back so let's dive right into the picks for today first up we got number eight unc versus number one baylor wilkie is on an island by himself big unc guy he's going with unc i really wanted to go there with him i just don't think unc is going to be able to beat baylor today all the rest of us are on baylor Next up, we got number nine, Creighton versus number one, Kansas. Everyone is on Kansas. Uh, I have been pretty anti-Big East. I, that, that's been no secret. But I think what this comes down to more than anything is that Kansas is awesome. They're coming out of the Big 12, which has been excellent this year. And Kansas has been right at the top for most of that, them and Baylor together. But I don't think Creighton stands a chance against this Kansas team personally. Then we got number 11, Michigan, versus number 3, Tennessee. And we got another Island boy out there. Steve is the only one on Michigan today. I had Michigan losing in the first round. I'm certainly not taking them now. They looked decent that first round. They looked pretty decent that first round game. Tennessee looked like an absolute monster, though. So I'm not going against them, and neither is anybody else. Now we got what was one of the early surprises of the tournament, number 12, Richmond versus number four, Providence. Both those surprises to me because I didn't pick either of them. Richmond knocked off Iowa. Providence beat the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, our boys, Baylor Shireman. Hopefully we see you in Philly next year. <laughs> we'll split here. We got Steven Spencer on Providence. Sean Wilkie, Chris, and myself all riding with Richmond. I just I don't think Providence is that good. I, again, Big East bias. I, I don't like that conference this year. I don't think any of those teams are that great. Providence, I don't think. I, I had them losing the first round, like I said. I think Richmond takes this one, and the Cinderella story continues for the Spiders. And we got a big West Coast matchup. We got number five, St. Mary's, versus number four, UCLA. UCLA... I'd say you'd call them a blue blood. St. Mary's is more of a, an upstart, like a Gonzaga. Um, they looked awesome in that first round, which, again, I had them to lose. That first round was not nice to me. Um, UCLA, 
pretty good team, pretty good year this year. Not, I, I don't think that they hit expectations. They, you know, after what they did last year in the tournament, I think that people were looking for them to, to maybe be like a top three team all season long, and it just didn't happen. Uh, that being said, Steve and myself, the only guys riding with St. Mary's. I, St. Mary's is good. They beat Gonzaga this year. Their their first conference loss ever. So you got to give them credit for that. I and they looked awesome in that first round. Awesome. So Steve and I are with St. Mary's, Sean, Wilkie, Chris, and Spencer all riding with UCLA. Next up is another Cinderella story, number 15, St. Peter's, who knocked off Kentucky, who was definitely a, a sweetheart for the tournament this year. A lot of people, including myself, very high on them, thought they had a chance to win this thing. St. Peter's takes them down. They're up against number seven, Murray State. Does it end here for St. Peter's? Chris and I don't think so. We are sticking with St. Peter's. I they beat Kentucky. Okay, that I will just continue to go back to that. Sean, Wilkie, Steve, and Spencer all on Murray State. Next, we got number 12, New Mexico State versus number four, Arkansas. I had Arkansas losing in the first round. I I think this is where it ends for them. New Mexico State, a little bit of a Cinderella. I obviously I like the high seeds. Okay, I, I'm i a dog guy, all right? I'm a dog. So Chris, Steve, and myself all riding with New Mexico State. Meanwhile, Sean, Wilkie, and Spencer all on Arkansas. And we're going to finish it up with a unanimous pick. We got number nine, Memphis, versus number one, Gonzaga. I really wanted to, get, to go with Memphis, but unfortunately, Gonzaga, I think, is just too much. Memphis, great first-round game, very fun to watch. I just don't think they have it to beat Gonzaga. Gonzaga is tough. So we are all on Gonzaga. All right, and what is going to get it going for today? We're going with Smooth Ambler, Old Scout. Pretty good. House Whiskey's coming back, though. House Whiskey's coming back. But today, we ride with Old Scout. And hitting the Funk Silent Disco again. This one is phenomenal. Again, big ups to Chris for the silent disco. All right. As you probably noticed, no picks from Vinny today. Have not heard from him yet. I will get his picks recorded as soon as he gets them in. Uh, Vinny, Vinny was going through it last night. Vinny was going through it last night. Got a couple of bad beats, if you will. Um, also, if you need to take a breather from college basketball today, uh college wrestling finals are on today penn state got to represent has five wrestlers in the finals today they have the team lead by 23 and a half points over michigan currently they are going for their 10th national championship i think they get it done i think they get it done they got a tough team they it was a tough break in the big 10 championship but you know what michigan can have the big 10 championship because we are here for the natty all right Let's get this done, guys. Ready. This can. Jesus Christ. This can's kind of, kind of fucking me. Well, let's hope there's no tetanus here. All right. Let's get it. That was cold. That was cold. An absolute hot bomb. But I love it. Guys, do all the things. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Let us know who you like, who you hate, who you tell you fade. You know the things that we always say. Check out the merch store. We got a ton of great stuff up there. We will be back tomorrow to close out opening weekend of the college basketball tournament. Very, very exciting stuff. Hopefully we see a lot more great games today, a lot more great games tomorrow, and some big time upsets. You know, that's what we're here for. Until then, I love you guys. Let's cash some bets. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be for me and the car.
let's get right into that right now and re 